Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be creating a non-unique hit counter. And by a non-unique hit counter I mean that every time the page is refreshed, or rather every time we call the count function, because we're going to be dealing with a lot of functions in here, we're going to update an, a um, text file with uh, a, a value and that value is an increment onto the value that was previously in the text file. So we're going to start off by creating a text file uh, with a value of zero inside it. So I'm going to save this um, and I'm going to call it count.txt. So we've got count.txt with zero in it. Eventually this will increment depending on how many times the page is refreshed. But that's the, obviously the basics of it. Now what we need to do in PHP is work out how we're going to do this. Now it's always a good idea to use include files in your website and the reason for this is you don't have to copy and paste the code over for every page that you want to count on. So we're going to create another new file and this is going to have PHP tags in it and this is going to be called count.php. Now count.php is going to contain the function we need to in increment a count. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a function and that's going to be called, um, we'll say hit underscore count. So um, what do we need inside this function? Well first of all we need to access count.txt. So I'm going to create a handle and this is going to be f open and that's going to be uh, count.txt and we're opening it to read in. So we're using R to specify that we're reading in from this file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the fread function into this. So I'm going to say um, current equals fread. Uh, so it's sort of like freed. So fread and that's handle. Now we need to specify the uh, data that we're reading in, the length of the data we're reading in. So this could be, for example, two. We might have a two-digit number. Uh, so basically, if I had, say, the word Alex, or the name Alex inside a file, we'd need to read four from the uh, four, the length of four. So how are we going to go about reading what's the, you know, we don't want to read too much and we don't want to read too little. If you've already seen the file handling tutorials, you'll know that we can use um, the file size function uh, which we can put in here to read in um, a specific um, uh, file size of a file. So I'm going to create a new variable up here called file name, and this is going to make it a lot easier to update everything dynamically. So I'm going to change this and replace it with a variable I've just created. So this is this line is now going to do exactly the same thing. However, with file name, we need to specify something like count.txt inside it. We don't specify the handle that we've actually opened. So we can then specify file name. Now what we can do is echo out current and see what happens. So we need to call this function. So let's go into index.php. Let's require, in fact let's include because it's not really a required file. We don't really want to kill the rest of the page if we can't count people's views or pages views. So include count.php. Okay, so now we can call this function because we've included this file. So I'm going to say hit count. Now at the moment, obviously, this isn't going to update the count.txt file, but hopefully we should now read uh, right to the screen the value of zero. Let's double check that. Okay, yeah, so we've got a value of zero. Now let's just double check that everything's actually working, and we'll update this to a thousand. So the function here, file size, will have taken the size of this. So it will, it will include the, all four characters that we have inside here. So let's refresh. Yeah, so it's working correctly. So we've successfully read in, let's just change this back to zero, we've successfully read in the current file size. Now what we need to do is every time this function's called, we need to increment it. So current underscore inc equals current plus one. Okay, so what we're doing is we're creating a new variable called current underscore inc. Uh, I'm gonna, this is basically stand for increment and that's equal to current plus one so now let's echo well we can do that up here just to save uh, space echo current ink to see what it says it says one even though at the moment count is equal to zero so we're incrementing 
uh, the value. So we can store that hidden. and we don't need to echo that out. But now what we need to do is reopen the file. Uh, we can actually close the file here. So F close that. So uh, and we need to specify the handle. So what we've done here is we've closed the file. Down here we're going to reopen the file and we're going to write the new value. And the new value is this. So let's just double check that we've got no errors now that I've added that F close in there. Let's refresh. We'll echo this out just to make sure it's working. Okay, so we've still got the value of 1. So everything's working now. Now, like I said before, what we want to do is we want to open up the file again so we can more or less use the exact same code here. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how we can change this. And we're going to create another function that allows us to read uh, or open up the file name again. So we're going to create less code and we're going to create a more sort of flowing application that uses uh, less um, less sort of repetitive code, if you like. So we'll do that in a minute. So I'm going to say handle equals f open. And again, we're opening file name. Now already you can see we're duplicating code. So we don't really want to do this. That's why in a minute we're going to create another function up here. And I'm going to choose W for write. We could append, but we don't want to. We want to rewrite the file. So we're reopening this count.txt file. Then what we want to do is we want to f write. We're writing um, to handle. And the data we're writing is the current but incremented. Um, so now after this, we want to close the file again. Uh, and this should have updated our uh, file. So it's updated with the um, original value plus one. We've reopened the file, but this time we're writing to it rather than reading to it. We're writing to the file using this fwrite function, uh, and we're writing to this handle, which is the open file here. And we're inputting the current value, but incremented by one, which was obtained from here. And then we've closed the file again. So let's uh, close count.txt. And we'll return here. We're re recalling this function. So now what should happen is it should automatically update. Uh, wrong paramount count for f close. Oh, yeah, of course. So we haven't closed the current file. So let's refresh. Okay, so now let's try and open our um, count.txt and see what it says. So it's got two because I've refreshed the page twice. So now let's close it again. And let's refresh again come back to context, open up this file, count.txt, and it says three. So now that we've successfully created our hit counter and then we know that it works, um, obviously now you'll probably understand why it's not unique because every time we're refreshing the page, we're not checking that it's the same user. So, okay, like I've said before, we've reused this code here, which is... Um, handle a uh, we've, used, we've set a handle with the f open function and um, the same with the f right in actual fact looking at this code because we're doing two different things i mean we've got the file name here uh, and then what we're doing is we're opening the handle we're actually retrieving data then we're closing uh, we're performing this operation and then we're reopening another file um, because we're doing different things inside each one probably not a good idea to put this as a function so I guess for now uh, this would be acceptable to to write this like this we're not going to need to put another function in however because we've created this function this is a good idea because we've included this count file and we can specify this wherever we want so let's say we wanted to um, uh, include this file but not count we can we can do that but if we include the file uh, then we have the option to uh, call this function which will hit count so if we don't call if we don't uh, call the function and we refresh the page you can see that when we open the um, count.txt file again it still remains at three so this is a, a, a non-unique hit counter um, in PHP